guys, what's up? Alright, frankly, I didn't even want to have to do this, but I am getting fucking fed up with hearing about bathroom bullshit. We all are, probably because the entire thing is so fucking stupid. Legislations requiring people to use the restroom assigned to the gender that they were assigned at birth are stupid and baseless. They aren't necessary to protect anyone from transgender people because y'all don't fucking need protecting from us. We're not going to the restroom to spy on you. We're going to the restroom to fucking piss. So I mentioned a moment ago that these legislative actions are baseless. That's not just a buzzword. There has literally never, not once, been a reported case of a trans woman peeping or assaulting or doing anything to any cisgender woman in any public restroom ever. There's no need to protect anyone from trans people. We're not something that anyone needs protecting from. Quite the opposite, we need to be protected from y'all. Because while there has never been a single case of a trans person or even someone pretending to be trans entering the restroom and using that as a place to try to take advantage of someone, 70% of trans people have been assaulted, harassed, beaten, or even raped trying to use a public restroom. And yet no one's fucking concerned with protecting us. Fun fact, most of us trans people would much rather use a gender-neutral restroom or a private restroom, but y'all cis people frankly don't usually want to give us that option. It's like y'all fucking categorize people and decide everything about them based on their genitals. I swear to god, you wanna talk about creepy? Y'all cis people seem to be fucking obsessed with other people's genitals, especially ours. In the end, this is not about us wanting into the ladies room, even though we do have a right as women to be there. This is about our fucking safety. Too many of us have had our privacy violated or even been assaulted, beaten, or raped by cis men in public restrooms. Y'all are creepy and scary as fuck. I was actually forced into a men's room the other day, and some dude decided he would use that as an opportunity to whip out his fucking phone and take a picture of me once I got my pants off through the crack in the stall door. Yup, apparently that's what protecting women looks like. But see, we know that protecting women is not actually what this is about to you at all. It's about legitimizing violence against trans people, plain and simple. We'd take the gender neutral and one stall restrooms, but y'all are building them. Wonder why? Oh. That's right, because then y'all pervy cis men wouldn't be able to spy on me while I pee. Look, I know I'm hot. I get the fucking pervy messages and unsolicited dick pics on my social media from y'all wanting to get in my pants all day long, but seriously, get a fucking hold of yourself. That is literally what's going on. The cis male lawmakers are not interested in protecting women. As a matter of fact, these legislations that decide restroom use based on assigned birth gender are actually forcing transgender men, men who were born with vaginas, into women's restrooms. Now, I invite you to look at this picture of what a trans man looks like. Does he belong in the ladies room? Would you be comfortable with that if you were a woman seeing this person in the restroom with you? And I mean seriously, let's think of the repercussions for this dude. He would have to break the law to go in and use a men's room. Would he want to take that risk? But then at the same time, every time he went into the women's room, even though he was following the law, he'd have to produce his fucking birth certificate or something in order to justify himself being there. Who's gonna pay for the fucking potty police? And if y'all want to start inspecting genitals, that's fucking and pervy and creepy as shit, and if it does start up, it better be trans people and cis people. Y'all wanna think you're gonna tell us apart, but I can tell you for a fact that there are cis people who get mistaken for being trans and trans people who are never thought to be trans all the fucking time. There was actually recently a story about a cisgender woman who was not a transgender man or anything, she was a cisgender woman who was born with a vagina and identified as a woman getting kicked out of an establishment for using the women's restroom because people thought that she was a man. But getting off that tangent back on topic, this is not even actually about trying to keep men out of women's restrooms at all. Seriously, there is never a suggestion from that side of the table for transgender specific restrooms or gender neutral restrooms or even private single stall restrooms. Why? Because y'all want to put us in the same restroom with you so y'all can fucking be pervy. And seriously, don't try to bullshit because we happen to know that y'all are fucking obsessed with us. It's pretty well established that there's like not a single group of people who do not find trans people attractive in some way. But seriously, you could just fucking ask me out. I'd say no, but hey, I guess that's why you have to be all creepy and rapey about it. I'd say I'm sorry for being harsh, but frankly, I've been through way too much fucking anti-transgender violence, and I mean literal violence, to feel like giving a fuck about hurting your feelings at this point. Long story short, y'all seriously want to fucking talk about protecting women? Maybe stopping legislation that forces women into men's restrooms might be a good place to start. 
And while we're talking about lawmakers, remind me again, how many senators have been arrested for bathroom disturbances? As always, thank you so very much for watching, and until next time, be yourself. So wouldn't it seem a bit weird if, like, the majority of people were offended by that? I mean, can you imagine for a moment if you asked someone what kind of guitar they had, and they asked you what the fuck you were talking about, and tried to explain that they just have a guitar? Or if they explained that they didn't have an electric guitar, but it wasn't an acoustic guitar either, because it was just a normal guitar. What if you were working at a guitar store, and the customer saw all the electric guitars, and decided to ask where the real guitars were? But if you found them an acoustic guitar, and it was...